guys and welcome back to another episode here on Bali Spring. So today we have quite a busy day because we've got to get bailing, we've got to get the bills picked up and we've got many other tasks to do. So let's get started right away. So let's start with getting this field bailed and then we'll see how it goes from there. Right, what I'll do is I'll do a little bit of the field and then I'll put this onto a time lapse. First bail already, which is amazing. There we go. We are doing 150 centimeter bales because I think that's the best size really. But hopefully we'll make lots of bales. So uh, I'll get this bale unloaded and then I'll put this onto a time lapse. Right yo, so I will see you once this field is complete. So I've got all those bales um, rolled up now, so we are going to be doing a bit more mowing because we need to make some more hay. So let's get going. So what I might do is I might put this onto a little montage for this one. Um, so what I'll do is I'll see you when the field's finished.
right yo so we have finished that field right there so it's all nicely mowed and ready for it to be tedded because we are going to make some hay out of it but we're going to leave it for today um well that field anyway and we're going to move on to picking those bales up because they're kind of in our way in that field so we're going to go move them and yeah we'll just put them in the farmyard for now And I would just like to say, if you're enjoying um, my videos on this map, please do like and subscribe. Of course, you don't have to, but it's totally free. So, if you'd like to, the options there. I think we're going to do some slurry spreading, actually, today. Um, recently, a new slurry spreader has come out, and it's a really nice one. So, we might get it on lease to try, see if the dealer will give it to us on lease. Um, because it'd be really nice to try a slurry spreader since we haven't done any slurry spreading is which would also save us some money All right, let's turn this off um, So we need to get the Massey Ferguson And we'll get hooked up to the bell grab and we'll get these bells all sorted Oh, someone's knocked my bail grab over. Well, luckily we've got some pallet forks, so that was an easy fix. Oh, wrong one. This one. There we go. I think we have about 19 bales, so we won't fit them all onto one trailer loads. Uh, so that is fine though, because we're very close to the farmyard, so I can easily do a couple of loads, or even three loads if I need to. Where would be the best place to put this? Probably against this wall right here. Actually, no, it's not going to because we need to get to each side of it, so there will do. Right, so what I'm going to do is, so this doesn't get boring, I want to put this on a time lapse, so sit back, relax, and enjoy. Rightio, so we've got all the bales loaded up onto the trailer. We've got a couple on the front as well. So let's get them stacked. Shouldn't take us long, uh, so I won't do a time lapse or anything because I don't want to make too many time lapses in this video. Right, there we go. I was just thinking we might have to get our slurry spreader on finance because we don't really have enough money and we did pay five thousand pounds towards our feed mixer so that should be paid off in about four months so we can afford to be going and um we can't afford to get a slurry spreader, which is what we need, because we've got tons and tons of slurry waiting to be spread. 
and the dealer was saying they've got this new one in, so I kind of want to go and have a look at it and see what we think. So, after we've done this, that's what we'll do. We'll head down to the dealer and we'll see how much it costs us to buy one. We also need to get a manure spreader at some point because, as I said, we've got tons and tons of manure. I believe a manure spreader is £13,000 roughly for the one we would go for. Uh, I don't think it's quite worth it yet because we don't have too much manure. We've got a lot more slurry though. So that is why we're getting a slurry spreader over a manure spreader. Actually, I probably should be shoving these further back. There we go. Sorry if my camera is moving around quite fast. There we go, that's better. Alright, yo, so after these two bales, we'll have eight bales left to put in the shed, and then we'll be good to go down to the store. There we go. But yeah, this bell grab has been very, very handy. By the way, if you want to get it, it's from the CSZ pack. And it's definitely one of the best mods. It may not be the most realistic thing, but otherwise it, you'd probably be seeing about three hours of me doing bale stacking. We did have to move that uh, New Holland tractor out of the shed as well as the mower and the tether, but that was alright because I can find another shed for them. There we go. So do, we do have quite a lot of silage bales, so we might sell the ones off to our right there, just because we've got all these ones here. Um, so I don't know if it'd be, bleh, I don't know if it'd be worth keeping them, because I would say in about two months' time these would be silage. So we'll keep two silage bales, maybe out two or four silage bales. Um. And that should keep us going until these ones turn into silage. And that's how we'll keep going. We'll just keep rotating and rotating until we are eventually got plenty of silage bills. And um, we've got plenty of money. Because we're not doing too well at the minute. We've only got 8,000 pounds. So, as you can... Yeah, we're definitely not doing as well as we would be maybe in the future. And I'm not saying that this farm is going to be an amazing in the future, but hopefully it'll be doing better than it is right now. So let's put this down here. 
and so let's get this trailer put away and then I'll take the Land Rover down to the store and we'll get this um, slurry spreader sorted well if we do end up going and getting one which I would assume if I record it then it means we're going to go and get one we don't really need that much of a loan maybe about another 10,000 uh, pounds so what I'll do is I will see you when we're down at the store Rightio, so we're down here at the store, so what I'll do is I'm going to speak to a salesman and I will ask him to show me the thing on his computer and once he shows me on the computer I'll show you all the options that we can get on the slurry spreader, so let me go and speak to a salesman. Rightio, so this is the slurry spreader, as you can see it's got lizard branding all over it, which is the store's branding of course. Um, um, so yeah, this is the one. So let's spec it out. And we did get the loan of £27,000 now. So that does mean we've got a £40,000 loan to pay off. But that's not too bad. I think we can manage that. So let's spec this up. Splash plate, splash plate and top fill. Do we need that? Let's go for it. We've got some money to play with so we can do what we like. Uh, what wheels look best? I tend to go for Michelin's. So whatever the biggest ones you can get. Yep, we'll go for those. Optional extras. Let's go for that. Doesn't cost much. Uh, we'll do that. Yeah, we'll do that. And... Put both re rear refills. We'll do that. Oh, actually, let's not do that. And I don't know what one. We'll just do Galloway or something, I guess. How much? Ooh. Yeah, we save quite a bit of money. Let's not do that. We'll just do that. So, £22,000. Right. Um, so, let's tell the salesman we want to purchase that. And let's see. Right, thanks. So, that's that purchased. So, it should just be round the corner here. And there it is. Our lovely slurry tanker. Brand new. So, let's get it hooked up to our tractor. And we'll get it taken back to the farm. But yeah, as you, as you can see, pretty much everything we get has Lizard Brandon. Some of the farm equipment is used, so that's why it doesn't have lizard branding all over it. So, what I'll do is I will take this back to the farm, and I will see you when we're there. Rightio, so we're here back at the farm with our new slurry spreader. I have switched the tractor over just because this one's a bit faster, so it's probably better. So, let's get this filled up. Um, I believe it's just under here we go and there we go you can see the little fill pipe there wow that was quick so we do have one field actually that could have some slurry so we'll put it on this field as I said but yeah look at this all these nice features we've got on this one let's get this lined up and You probably don't even need to guess what I want to say, but we'll put it on the time lapse once we get going. So, let's take a quick look. Our nitrogen is okay, even though it says zero, but let's get that up. Yeah, that needs to be. So, let's get spreading. Oh, you need to... Oh, what's this? I've never seen this thing come up. Uh... Whoa, I've never heard that sound. That sounds cool. And off we go! Wow, this is... Sounds that I've never heard. Very nice. Right. So what I'll do is I'll put this on the Wii time lapse because... I don't know how long it's going to take me, so... 
I will see you when the field's complete. Right yo, so we have done the slurry spreading. As you can see, the field is much better looking. Uh, so that is good. Actually, let's just take a quick look. Yeah, apparently it's perfect. It does say 70 over 55, but it'll do. And this slurry spreader has been amazing to use. All the sounds and all that just make it even better. So, uh, let's, where should we put this? Let's see. We'll just put it here and that should keep it out of the way of everything. But yeah, 4D modding has done an amazing job with the slurry spread. I do have to say that. So thank you 4D Modern for creating a, an amazing slice spreader, even though he's probably not watching this. He or she, I don't know. But I'm just taking a guess it's a heat. Um, for creating an amazing mod, which I try to use on this map since he is part of the Air Agri team. So yeah, anyway. Um, we do need to do a bit of tedding, but I'm trying to think. Do we have time in this episode to do some tedding? You know what? I will. I'll do a bit of tedding. So, let's get hooked up. I don't know how long this episode is going to be, by the way, but hopefully it's going to be a little bit longer than normal. Um, because I think I've been averaging between 19, which I know sounds very exact, between 19 to 27 minutes. So, if this can be up past 30 minutes then that'd be quite nice but yep just another reminder if you like to join the discord it will be in my uh, YouTube description below this video so if you like to join the discord it is available there so yeah so I, I did say we weren't going to come back to this field today but it just gives us a job to do in this episode. And then it means next episode I can get on with the windrowing and bailing. I'm picking the bales up. And by the way, I did work out the mixtures to the food for the cows. Um, I had to buy some of that. I forgot what it's called, but it's the stuff that you get on pallets and for TMR. Uh, this map seems to require all that sort of stuff. So we have that straw and all that added into it. So, let's get started. Shouldn't take me too long to do this. Uh, it's not the biggest uh, wind drawer. But it's still better than um, some smaller things. Oh, we do need to put some diesel in this trap there at some point. I did put some in the Ford um, while I was at the the store, so that's why our money went down a bit. And of course, it's it's only gone down about three thousand pound. 
because uh, we had to pay a deposit for the slurry spreader so yeah so I believe it's a £40,000 loan and they said we have to pay £10,000 a month which does mean that we're going to have to sell some silage bales to earn some money otherwise we're going to come bankrupt very quick if we're not careful but I would say it's quite realistic for farmers to have a few bits of debt lying around that needs to be paid off so that is why we've got two things to pay the TMR mixer and the slurry spreader but it's two things that we're going to try use quite a lot because the TMR mixer actually we do need to do a mix for the cows again at some point maybe in the next episode because I need to buy some of that stuff in for them so yep maybe the next episode because I think they got some food but not enough to do for the next two months um because I think harvest must be coming up very very soon um which will be good because that can also help us pay our debt off so we've done one headland um so what I'll do is I will crack on with this and I will do I put a wee I don't know what you call it I forgot the word but you know what I mean where the little clips so I'll see you when the field's finished So I finished in the tedding in this field. So what I'll do is I'll take this back to the farm, and I think we'll leave it there for today because we've done lots and lots, you know, with the new slurry spreader, uh, tedding, mowing, uh, picking bales up. We've done all sorts of things. Oh, sorry, car. But sorry. Oh, it must be reminding me to turn my beacons on. Oh, that shed there could be handy for us in the future. Don't know how much it would be to buy the fields that come with it, but it could be very handy. And we'd ideally want to buy the fields when there's no crop in it, because then we could choose what we put in it. Because every time I go past it, it's a crop that we can never do. Right. Because we do need a bit more space shed wise. I mean I probably could if I put it in that shed right I probably could manage. Right. Um But yeah, we'll leave it there for today. Right, that's gonna be it for today. So if you've enjoyed this video, please do like and subscribe. At the end of the day, subscribing is totally free if you'd like to help out my channel. And if you'd like to join the Discord, it will be in the link below this video. And if you'd like to share this video with others, I would also appreciate that as well. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.